Hello there, so I'm here in uh, Bali Eco Village, which is uh, the north part of the island and uh, here in the mountains, a lovely uh, community area, small little village, which is, uh, they have their own land, they grow their own food and there's tons of uh, water resources down here because um, there's a natural spring located on top of the mountain. So it rains here a lot in the mountains. It's quite cloudy a lot of the time. Uh, the dry season they have three months of basically uh, like not much rain at all. So most of the year fertile land, lots of moisture and always a perfect temperature to be out in. So I've never really been cold here yet at all here in um, Bali Eco Village in Patang. So yeah, there's a, down below is all like the houses and stuff. There's like six houses, I believe, um, where like, people can stay and live and work on the land, I guess, and also for retreat. And then through here is other, the garden here, we have uh, some banana trees and, and then all these are vegetable patches. Um, try and remember what's here now. Um, doo -doo. So we have some orange trees, so they turn a bit orange after. Um, onion, so I guess this is onion here. And down, these are pineapples. <laughs> so they've been taken from the top of the pineapple, the what looks like this, I mean, planted in the ground. And um, here, what else do we have? We have cassava growing, we have some more uh, orange trees, more cassava, so these are all cassava. Da -da -da. And there's more at the top here also. So we have, uh, we've got lemongrass growing. Um, this is wild mustard. It's where beans come from for seeds. So this is where all the broccoli, kale and everything came from originally. Um, this, I don't know what it is, it looks empty. It's probably an old vegetable patch. And then we have some spinach. All this is spinach. Then we have lots of the carrots growing here. Uh, this is mint. So lots of lovely mint. So this is all mint. Beautiful. Really good. More carrots. Uh, have more wild mustard. And there's a lot more here also. So there's more trees at the back. I don't know what everything is because everything looks different here in, in Bali. In, in the UK is um, <laughs> we have different plants and vegetables. And then go through here, we have um, we have a greenhouse, but they don't have glass because it's warm enough. Here we go. Just open up, come in. So we have lots of uh, potatoes growing. Um, this is tomatoes. And we have some hydroponics as well. So the hydroponics, this is all fed by water underneath. And then all the vegetables or fruit, the strawberries at the back, are growing in uh, these hydroponics. So it's great. Underneath is lots of water. There's a few frogs in there. Again, more of my frog experiences. <laughs> Cambo haunting me again. So there we go. There's more, uh, more cherry tomatoes. More strawberries, lots of strawberries. I had a strawberry a minute ago, it was lovely. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Still getting to know the plants here. Uh, there we go, more strawberries growing. And this is uh, a lot of the hydroponics. Uh, a little bit empty at the moment. I don't know what's here really. And more spinach. I believe this is spinach. Very warm in here. There's no glass, it's just it's keeping the heat in. So this is their, their greenhouse. I'll just lock the door. Oh. Come up through here. 
we have some beans growing and more orange trees more wigwams for beans I guess so yeah this is a uh, Bali eco village which is the north of the island and uh, this is some of their uh, plantations where they plant fruit and vegetables and all oh, at the top of the mountain I don't know where I haven't seen it yet there's a local spring so basically they're able to get all the water gravity fed down here to the village which is beautiful um, so I'm still getting to know the plants here in Bali there they're very much different they've got passion fruit growing here they've got pineapples they've got lemongrass they've got okra that was in the greenhouse I forgot to show you um, they've got some jackfruit trees um, they've got um, they haven't got any durian trees growing down here just jackfruit but here in uh, the bottom part of the village there's some beautiful smelling flowers and they say that you can get a bit high by just smelling the flowers itself so it's quite cool so um, this is the the track that goes really steep up the hill so you're really out of the way from everything and then down here is another track which goes all the way down to the actual village itself well it's called a village it's the eco Bali eco village they're trying to keep things eco-friendly happy yeah I feel very much at home here it's a good temperature it's um in in the night time it's this temperature in the daytime it's this temperature unless it's sunny it's really really clear in the sky so today we have there is a little bit of a blue but it a lot of the sky reminds me of England apart from uh, there's no chemtrails which is good I haven't seen any chemtrails this way it's mainly in uh, UK and United States uh, where they have chemtrails I haven't seen one single chemtrail here in the sky um, yeah this place is beautiful it's great it's uh, got lots of potential and uh, it's a good climate all year round they have a, like three months of dry season when it's not raining but they have the spring from up the mountain so it's really really perfect um, they have lots of rice growing here too so down here this is a uh, this is rice so they have um, I think they have pipes you can see there's a pipe there and a pipe here so when this gets flooded it goes down steps down all the way down which just feeds all the all the rice fields basically so it's quite cool there you go there's uh, some of the water coming from the spring I believe um, but yeah these 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 houses these uh, little village houses are, uh, are amazing so just walk down a bit further I'll show you it's down here da -da -da. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful structure. Huge inside, the kitchen and dining area. And then all these like little little pods and houses. Little Pandora Star <laughs> foliage and flower bed in the middle. Good start. And uh, yeah, they have all these uh, these pods, these houses. There's uh, two this side, made by Italian owners. Uh, the original owners of the place and then there's uh there's one two three the other side which is really cool so you come down here and the place has got a lot more potential to grow as well um, they've got a lot more land this way for for building more structures and other things so yeah you come down and what's great here is that it's not affected by the it's not affected by the volcano um, because we're the other side of the mountain so behind me you can see the mountain uh, beyond that is and then another again um, more mountains is uh, a Mount Ogung which is the most active volcano and um, the volcano Bata I forgot the name of it it's one the second biggest in Bali which isn't active at all it's perfectly safe um, the only problem is in 2007 September um, Mount Ogung did erupt a little bit. Um, a lot of people had to evacuate, but here you're safe. It's uh, your, you know, the volcano. We can't see the volcano from here. You won't get affected, um, and they said they weren't affected at all. There was no ash in the sky, uh, nothing. 
And then down here is a beautiful spot which I really like. Is a good sort of open area, like a bamboo structure um, for, for yoga and everything, which is really cool. So come down. There's not any power down here. There, are, I think there's a couple of lights, but there's no power sockets. This is a really good place to meditate, hold some ceremonies, some gong baths. So then you have all this, all this jungle which is all around you. <laughs> so it goes on quite, for quite, quite far. If you look at the back there. Um, can't quite see but there's a number of hills number of series of hills at the back which go on for quite far um, and depending on the day it can get quite sort of foggy and then down here you can't see it takes about an hour to get down to the bottom I haven't been yet I'll be going soon um, but that's basically where uh, the river is so we're going to check that out at some point so yeah but I love these structures I love how they do these roofs it's really cool um, all made of bamboo um, which is really, really nice. And then at the top, we have the main building. There's quite a few other buildings here also. But yeah, the place is amazing. It's uh, been thought out quite well. It's been purposely built for our eco 